Hello again everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We are back here in Ville Montevallon and we are going to quickly grab this landmark first of all I think. I do need to go back to Skyhold to get our uh, operations assigned once again. We'll claim this landmark. Morals of the second result in March. Triumph of the Light. Remember the triumph over the profane. Sister Amity led the march to the river Tennessee. Where stood shrines to the elven gods? These she struck down, standing upon the bank, she sang the chant of light, and Raste's word had come to the dales and delivered them from wickedness. Okie dokie. Let's loot all this crap then. I say crap, I'm sure it's quite useful in fact, but you know. Um Right, so we'll get we'll we'll get this camp that's over here. We'll we'll, we'll get the camp set up. And then we'll go back to Skyhold from there, because at least at least, then, at least then we have a, like a point to come back to, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's just that, isn't it? I think. Yeah, it is. Okay. Is it on top of these rocks, or have I came around the wrong way? This looks like it might be quite hard to hard to traverse, actually. I think I'm actually on the wrong side of these rocks to try, to try and get this camp set up, so I will, um... I'll just quickly go around the other way. Tell you what, it's a, that's a beautiful... Is that like is that like a rock carving of like a cat or a fox or something up there? I'm not sure what that is all the way up there, to be honest, but... There's that as well, that looks quite cool. It's a, it's a beautiful looking, looking scenery. Look. Oh, did you guys have... No, you... What you, 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 you just lied to me there, you know. It's like we just had some luck. Okay, is there anything in the chest? Well, no, but still, <laughs> we've had some luck in the sense that that we haven't been been attacked by the uh, by the freeman yet. So, you know, we'll 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 take that as a win. What's that? Is that a banner? What's that? I don't recognise that. What is that? I don't know what that is. It's not even highlighted as anything. Unlock up. Oh! Could clear this passage. Oh! So this camp is probably behind those rocks. Ah! I see. So this area. Is probably isn't really accessible yet. Is that right? Probably. Okay. I tell you what, then we'll 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 just we'll head back to Skyhold now, because that because that is probably a good operation to set our guys on. Go to Skyhold. Ah, so that's so that's what that was. You can you can unlock operations like that. Okay, that's that's good. That's good indeed. Yeah, I like that. Hopefully there's nothing other, nothing else too pressing for us to do. I love how my guy's has just got like 70 daggers on him. Just oh, he's got one on his back, and he's got all them on his on his side there. He, he's just ready at any point to just start lobbing daggers all all over the all over the joint. He's oh, hello. Sister Liliana says the guests are on their way. The last inheritances are discovered, and taupe is not a spring color. Good. Tell her we've prepared their best stateroom. The inheritors will be contacted, and yes, it absolutely is. Is that anything I can speak to her about? Or... Oh, it is. Interesting. And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Nice! Anything else? Good to see that we have her support. She said she'd have us flogged alive. If we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have our attention. Josie, nice. You always do find the brighter side of things. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia of Nevara, your worship. Sounds like it's going very it's well. It's become a somewhat delicate task. Can I help? Yeah. Can I do anything to help negotiations? Thank you, but I believe I have matters in hand. 
I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Forsythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. I hope it isn't wearing at wear on you here. Yeah. Dealing with so many demanding, strong-willed people can't be easy. It's no less intense than my days at court, Inquisitor, I assure you. But I confess I do miss my staff from the embassy in Antifa. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. Discuss them with me, yeah. I have time, if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. Sure, let's go for it. Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. That sounds a bit raunchy. Lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Genar still won't respond to our letters. <laughs> and Sarah. Can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard taint on it? Then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits his whim. Is she just bitching in front of it, about everybody? Oh, oh, goodness. Have we been here an hour already? I didn't think about it, yeah. It went by so quickly I didn't even notice. You're far too polite. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. Oh, I could flirt with... <sighs> you know, she's really nice. I, I ju I'm just trying... I'm, I'm aiming for Cassandra here, though. I think you're invaluable, yes. No one else here has your experience, Josephine. Or your stories. I'll try to curtail their length next time. But I leave feeling less troubled than I have in weeks. That's good. I want everyone to be to be in good spirits, okay? Uh, oh, uh, is this my my room? Oh God, that's that's. <laughs> How the hell did we get here? <laughs> uh, and and how the hell do we do we get back from here as well? <laughs> Main hall, right? Okay, let's just let's just settle down, settle down, everybody. Um, this way. Nice speaking with you, Josephine. Though you are uh, you are a delightful individual, just not that delightful for me. Not quite. Close. Not quite. Uh, right. So we have one operation all there, which we're good for. Okay, recent Evangeline. Inquisitor, Evangeline and I or or you are freedom and indeed our very lives. I'm greatly saddened to hear what happened to hear what happened at the Conclave. I, I had truly hoped for a peaceful end to this conflict, and the death of so many good people is a tragedy. Our own investigation took us to Renegade Templars using a strange new red form of Lyrium. I am chagrined that they were powerful enough to to subdue us, although your agents tell us that these red Templars serve as shock troops for the enemy, who has had both mages and Templars dancing to his tune. Evangeline and I need to recover from our wounds and our presence at Skyhold will only cause tension with the rebel mages you, you brought into the Inquisition. Once we are healed, we will be honoured to serve. Yours, Reese, Senior Enchanter. There is a note below, presumably added by Cole. I ask you not to do this. I was upset until it saved them. This is good. So we have Deploy, Reese and Evangeline and the Sigil of Felandaris. So Cole was initially upset, but he's, he's okay now. Gain access to Gilanane's Grove. Okay, we'll do that. You see the reply works and clear the path to the Crow Fens. Let's do that. Straight away. The passageway is clear and safe. Access to the Grove restored. 170 kegs of ale, not nearly enough for 15 hard working Inquisition men and women. <laughs> uh, not now. Right, so we have the archives of Monfort here. A Chantry archive exists outside the city of Montfort, in the lower chambers of a monastery also known for its fine wine. The latter has put the archives at risk, according to the, the abbess. She recently sent word to the Inquisition that looters have come in search of the wine, and that they will not listen to assurances that wine is not actually stored in the lower chambers. Without Templars to guard the monastery and lacking coin to hire guards, the abbess has asked the Inquisition to move the archives somewhere more secure, and will happily donate whatever might, might, be, might, might be of use. 
But the Anna says, my agents can determine the most important things to preserve and bring them to a safe house until order is restored. So we do errands for the Chantry. Now I say take what we need from the Abbey. They will think twice about approaching us for things like this. Or Cullen says, we have the manpower. I will gladly send soldiers in. I think soldiers is probably a good all right. method to take with that. Um, all these are just resources, aren't they? I believe. Yeah, they are. So we've got to Ferelden. The Sutherland lad reported back. The bandits were cleared with minor spoils. He may have potential, Cullen. Excellent. Commander, a lot of mages just showed up. I hope they're friendlies, because if not, if they're not, we're in trouble. <laughs> Captain Ryland. <laughs> Uh, enhanced Amulet of Magic we got. Good to, good, to, good, good to see. So Frostback Basin. Minimum suggested level 20. Jesus Christ on a bike. Uh, we'll leave that then. Gather coins, Scout Haven Ruins. Probably a good idea to do that, actually. Inquisitor Power Conversation. I would like to permission to send some of the charges to Haven. Our goal is to find any gear lost in Crypto's attack, check for enemy stragglers, and bring in refugees who have not yet found Skyhold. Lieutenant Cremisius Kre Aklasi. The only way we will bring in refugees is through our allies in Ferelde, and after Haven, they are more willing to help. Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll send Josephine on that one. Dorian's request, what is this? Can we send... We can do Liliana for this one. Now that you're in charge, there's something I thought to bring up. There are Venatori mages out there lurking in the wilderness. This comes as no surprise to you, since you can't swing a dead cat without hitting one of Krippus' minions. But these particular Venatori have additional significance to myself. For one, I know them personally. I would call them friends, except that, I, except that would imply I didn't want them dead, which I do. Since I have an idea of where they might be, thanks to the investigation I began for coming south, I thought we could put our heads together and track them down. At which point, they would sneer something at you in into in winter and you would be forced to kill them, which makes everyone happy. You for eliminating a potential threat, me for eliminating men and women too stupid and short-sighted to, to be permitted continued breath. They will be less happy, but who cares about them? Up to you, my Lord Inquisitor. Well, Liana says, Let, let's look into this carefully and quietly. We do not wish to alert the Venatori to our awareness of their existence. Um... Yeah... Liliana had probably taken the smart method there. Right, so let's just head back to these altered planes. They're interesting that, that the, we have a Frostback Basin, which is level 20. And we, uh, oh, Cole approves. We have a Sigil of Felandaris, and we also have a, uh, an Amulet, don't we? Where is the Amulet? And it's Amulet of Magic. Oh, that's a lot better. Give Dora in that. Uh, what else did we get? We, we we got a sigil, didn't we? What is a sigil? Is a sigil an accessory? No, it's an upgrade, isn't it? I think. Plus 100% poison damage, minus 50% attack. That is an... Odd? Uh, an odd little... Sigil? Don't think I particularly like that. But... Yeah. Let's just quickly go through our, our equipment, which we did pick up. Silent Jenny is a bow. We don't really have anybody who used bows. All these are a bit naff, weapon-wise. Uh, armor... I don't think is really good for anybody. I don't know what 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 Varric's been using. No. Um, fire resistance, Cal. It's probably a bit better for him. So we'll give him that. Apart from that, not really much we can do with that stuff. Accessories, critical chance. So I'll give him that instead of the barrier ring. That's probably good. And everything else, I think, we're just going to sell. To be honest. Um, yeah, I, I, I think we'll just sell, sell everything else we have. 
we don't have much use of it, I don't think, so I just need to head over to the, uh, just jump down here. Who needs stairs, really? I just need to head over, head over to the, the shops. And get everything sold. Sell. Buy on Jenny, yep. And, uh, oh, I need to sell go by here, don't I? The griffin robe's good? Mage? Oh no, he's, he's fine. He's fine. Sell all that stuff. I don't really want that sigil, so I'll sell that. Um, crafting materials, no valuables. I think we, I think we do just sell all these, don't don't we? I don't think we have any need to keep them. Don't think anyway. I may, I may regret selling that stuff. I don't know, but I don't think we need to keep valuables. Right, Exalted Plains. So if we go back to that camp there. Yeah. Go to that camp there. Take our usual three friends. And we'll go back to the the grove and see, see what our forces have uncovered there. I mean, we've definitely got to have a, a camp to set up, which is helpful. Okay, so we need to head northeast, don't we? Yes, we do. Will we find, uh, what's this? Oh, last words from a Corporal Marsh. If I do not survive this terrible conflict, I wish my property to be distributed amongst my family thusly. To my dearest mother, the last salary drawn from my service to his grace, the Grand Duke, to my brother Victor, my arms and arm along may you defend our family. To my elder sister Margot, my love and everything in the pine wood chest. To my younger sister Bess, the pine wood chest and my apologies. May the baker take me into his hands. That's, that's kind of sad. <laughs> right, right. You can have the pine wood chest. You can have everything in the pine wood chest. Well, that seems that. That seems that seems ra rather rather disappointing. Yes, I know. Um. There's something up here, which I didn't clearly didn't find last time. I want to wander up here. Ooh, shit! Hang on a second. Need to take these guys out. Ow! I'm kind of surprised nobody else seems to have hit level 13 yet, because I am like quite a bit, um, like I, I've, as in I've got quite a fair bit of experience since I hit level 13, so I thought they would have caught up with me by now, but apparently not. I also don't quite know how to get up to that tower. I'd assumed it would have been this way, but I can't see a way up from here. Maybe we go this way? We take all the bloodstone and stuff here as well. Oh, I, I see a lovely old demon over there. Kind of wandering aimlessly. We'll backstab this guy. 
One hit kill. That is that is a beautiful effort. Ah, this is a lot simpler. Let's get it this way. Ah, so this is kind of part of the Eastern Rampart still. Oh, an ocularum. Oh, but we, we've already used this. Okay, that, that that that's fine. I, I was wondering why it wasn't popping up on the map. It was a little bit strange. I get the feeling it's something inside the tower. Loot this chest. On a longbow one helmet. And some bottles. Alvado's bathtub boot screech. If you can read this, you haven't drunk it. I'm not going to drink that, I don't think. Probably not too good for my health. Is there anything up top? Oh, you can't go up top. It's just... Staircase is destroyed. Right, so I want to leave this episode here, guys. I think thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.